Hello friends, I'm Parwes and this is our 26th video in uh, Python 3 Programming Basics. Uh, in the previous video, we have learned uh, that uh, how you can write uh, to a file in Python using Python file handling. Now, in this video, we are going to start our Python 3 database programming. And particularly uh, in this video, I want to show you that how you can connect your Python to MySQL database. Now, uh, before this, uh, you need to install MySQL client because we are using MySQL client for uh, database programming. Now, you can install uh, through pip install MySQL client. Uh, so uh, this will work, but sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, if uh, it doesn't work for you, you can install this uh, through this uh, uh, common pep install only binary and I will add uh, this to the video description uh, you can check that now after uh, installing this uh, also you need a WAMP server uh, because I'm using WAMP server this is my WAMP server now I'm going to create a database in here so click on new and uh, I want so DB test and I don't want to add any table for this now create now database has been created successfully and for right now there is no table in our DB test after this open your PyCharm ID now we need to import so import uh, MySQL DB as MDB now I'm going to create some uh, variables in here so db name my db name is uh, db test and I have uh, db host so this is uh, local host and also db pass so I don't have any password for my database and also db user now the user is root okay uh, after this now we are going to create a try a catch block so try now let me create a db mdb dot connect and in here you need to add your uh, first you need to add your host so it is a db host and after you need to add your user so db user uh, db password and the last one is db name okay and after this we need to just print a uh, database connected successfully okay after this let me give the uh, accept so accept mdb dot error as e okay now you can print database not connected success fully and plus e okay now this is uh, my code and let me just run this okay now you can see the database connected successfully because we are running web server and this is my web server and we have a mdb test database but if I change this for example like this uh, I don't have this database uh, in my web server let me now run this now you can see that we have uh, received uh, this because uh, we don't have any database you can see database not connected successfully and it printed for us now let me just uh, remove this E and run this and yeah now you can see the database not connected successfully now if I make it DB test and if I run this database connected successfully 
so thank you guys uh if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel and also like the video Hello friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our 27th video in uh, Python 3 uh, programming language. And we are going to uh, continue our Python database programming topic. Now in the previous video we have learned uh, how you can connect your Python to MySQL database and this is, uh, you can see database connected successfully and this is the code. And we have uh, a DB test in our, in our WAMP server. Now, in this video, I want to show you how you can create tables uh, uh, dynamically uh, in uh, Python programming language, language. So I'm going to copy this and this code and paste it in here. Now, after connecting to this, uh, we are going to, uh, if you check uh, WAMP server right now in DB test, uh, I don't have any table. But uh, I want to create a table, an uh, employee table in here. So for this in here, after connecting, uh, let me first create a, a db.cursor. So cursor like this. And after this, uh, now uh, uh, we are going to drop the table if it already exists. So for this, you can execute this query. So occur dot execute and in here we need to write a drop uh, this is not important but if you don't want you can uh, uh, you, you if you don't want uh, you can leave it so drop table if exists employ okay now after this let me create my SQL query so my query in here uh, you can give it let me give it in here so create a table employ okay now uh, for this employ uh, I want to give so first uh, I want to give a name uh, name and it is a car and 20 character and it should be not now okay and also I need email so for the email I want to give it uh, car twenty and also I need age so age and for this I want to give it end okay now this is uh, our complete code okay not complete after this we need to execute our query so core dot execute and we want to execute our SQL query and after that I'm going to print that uh, table uh, created uh, successfully successfully uh, okay now uh, this is our code and uh, if I run this I should get uh, uh, I should create uh, a employ table with these columns uh, in my web server so let me just run this uh, database connected okay now now you can see the database connected this is a warning no problem so database connected successfully and the table created successfully now I'm going to check this that uh, we have employee table in our our web server now let me open DB test. Okay, now you can see I have employ uh, a table in here. If I open this, 
now you can see I have name email and age so thank you guys uh, if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel Hello friends, I'm Parways and in the previous video we have learned that uh, how you can uh, create tables, uh, MySQL tables in Python programming language. So this is from the previous video, this is the code that we have created uh, an employee table and if you see my database, uh, I have an employee table. But right now I don't have any data for this, I have name, email and age fields. Uh, but uh, there is no data now in this video I want to show you how you can insert data uh, in Python programming language uh, in MySQL database so there are two ways that you can do and I'm going to show you the bot way so the first way is uh, let me show you the first way uh, and let me just copy some codes so I need to copy these codes from the previous uh, video so let me just uh, uh, copy these codes and paste it in my inserting data okay like this uh, after this uh, let me create a DB uh, object so a DB <coughs> so MDB dot connect dot connect so I want DB host I want DB uh, user, uh, DB password, and DB name. <coughs> okay. Now after this, let me create my insert query. So insert query, insert query, and in here I'm going to write. So insert, insert into employee <coughs> and if you see uh, my database I have name email and age so I want to insert the data in the name in email and age okay and the values that I want so values and for the value for example I want to add my name and my email address so and also I'm going to for example give an age for example 25 24 so after this <coughs> now let me create a try uh, try accept so for the try I want to in the try I want to I want to execute my query so uh, I have forgot to uh, cre create cursor object so curve db dot cursor and now I am going to execute my query so execute <coughs> and I want to execute the insert query so after this you need to commit the change in the database so db dot uh, commit and also you need to print something for example data inserted successfully and let me create except so in the except I want to print um, failed to insert the data okay and also we need to close db dot close the server okay <coughs> now this is our complete code and let me run this So now you can see we have received the message data inserted successfully. Now if I check my uh, database employee, so now I have a new data in here so that we have given. Let me add uh, some more data for example John and, and you can give uh, for example 20. Let me execute the query. <coughs> let me another name so
bob at gmail.com you can give it for example 29 so insert data now let me refresh my database now you can see I have uh, three data in so now this was the first way that we have added some data into our MySQL database with Python programming language now uh, in this way uh, there are chances that um, uh, there are chances that uh, you get uh, SQL injection now uh, for preventing SQL injection we are using placeholders uh, instead of these hard-coded data so now I'm going to just copy all of the code and I'm going to paste it in my another Python file so uh, we are going to just bring change in our this insert query so now uh, instead of uh, we have uh, values and instead of giving these values we are going to add a placeholders so for example let me add because we have three data like this and now in here we are going to create a tuples so value and now in here you can give your value so for example I want to give Tom <coughs> tum at gmail.com and also you can give an H for example 30 okay now in the insert query you need to also add your value now using this method you can prevent SQL injection now let me run the code so data inserted successfully and I'm going to check my database so I have a new data in here uh, so thank you guys uh, if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel hello friends I'm Paris and in the previous video we have learned that how you can insert data into MySQL database with Python programming language now uh, we have inserted some data uh, and these are the data that we have inserted into WAMP server MySQL database now in this video I'm going to show you how you can read data from MySQL database for this I have created a new Python file and I'm going to just copy these codes from the previous video so I don't need to write these okay now <coughs> after this let me create a read query so let me give it select query and in here I want to select all from employ okay <coughs> uh, now let me create a try so in the try away I want to execute my query so curve.execute and I want to execute the select query after this now I want to fetch all the data uh, let me create a results uh, uh, variable and I want to fetch uh, fetch all okay now let me create a uh, oh, okay let me create a for loop so for <coughs> row in results and now you can print so let me create name so for the name I have a row 0 and I have a email row 1 and also age <coughs> row 2 okay now after this I'm going to print uh, these data so print and name so for the name you can give name <coughs> print email for the email you can give email and we have print age <coughs> and for this you need to convert this to the string and give the age okay and also you need to accept and accept <coughs> so accept and I'm going to print 
uh, unable to fetch the data from database <coughs> and also you need to close so db dot close okay now if I run this this is my complete code and I want to run my code so now you can see that these are the data that I have retrieved so these are the three data that we have uh, the four uh, data and like, like this we have successfully select all data from MySQL database in Python so thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel Hello friends, I'm Parways and in the previous video we have learned that how you can select uh, all data from your MySQL database in Python. So this is from the previous video and we have retrieved this, these data from our MySQL database. <coughs> now in this video, uh, I'm going to show you that how you can uh, update your data in MySQL database. Now uh, there are two ways that you can update your data. So the first way is not save, and the second way is saver, uh, because we are going to prevent SQL injection. Now let me show you the first way. Uh, I'm going to copy these codes from here because I don't want to uh, write all of them. So these are uh, okay. Now let me copy in here. Now I'm going to create my update query. So update query, and in here uh, I want to update uh, employee. So I want to update employee and set. Uh, I want to update the name of the employee table, and uh, for example, uh, this uh, I want to make it updated name, and. Uh, where uh, name so if you see my database uh, the first name in here is uh, Parwis and I want to update this so in here you can write this the condition after this let me create try and in the try I want to execute my uh, update query also let me db dot commit <coughs> and print uh, data updated successfully and then the except let me print unable to update the data <coughs> And at the end, you need to uh, close your connection. So db dot close. Okay. Now let me run. This is the code. Let me run this. Data updated successfully. And now I'm going to check my database. So now you can see that the data is updated. Updated name. Now this was the first way. Now in the second way, I'm going to copy all of my code and paste it in here. I want to bring uh, because we are using a uh, placeholder. Now I'm going to bring changes in here. So instead of giving hard coded name, and I'm going to give it a placeholder a string <coughs> like this. And in here, I'm going to create a value, a tuple, and uh, I want to uh, so the second record in here is uh, John so I want to change this with my name so um, John also you need to give value in your execute query I'm going to run this uh, unable to update the data so why it's uh, giving me error oh sorry uh, I need to change this also
so for this also I'm going to give it okay now let me run this <coughs> data updated successfully refresh the page so now you can see that the John is changed to my name so thank you guys if you have any question please please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel uh, like the videos and share the video Hello friends, I'm Parois and in the previous video we have learned that how you can uh, update your data, your MySQL data uh, using Python programming language. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can delete data uh, from MySQL database. Now there are two ways that you can delete and I will show you. Mm. First let me show you the first way uh, and let me just copy uh, some codes from the previous video and uh, I'm going to copy these codes and paste it in here so uh, the first way uh, let me now create delete uh, query and you can delete for example from employ uh, where uh, so I want to delete according to the name so your name is uh, so so okay I want to delete the first one updated name updated name okay after this let me create try and in here I want to execute uh, the query uh, I want the delete query also you need to print something in here data deleted successfully and in the except we are going to print uh, unable to delete the data unable to delete the data okay also you need to close uh, the connection so db dot close so now uh, if I run this data deleted successfully and if I refresh my uh, database you can see that this data the first one will be deleted so now I don't have the updated uh, let me show you the second way so this was the first way and the second way that uh, by using this way you can prevent SQL injection so I'm going to copy this code and I want to paste it in here so I need to bring change in here uh, because uh, instead of uh, using uh, uh, this name I want to add up a placeholder string in here so like this and also uh, I need to create a value so this time I'm going to I want to remove uh, this my name so and here you want to remove okay like this now in your uh, delete query you need to add the volume so now let me refresh my page unable to delete the data so why it's okay oh you need to also okay now give a comment here data deleted successfully now let me refresh the database Now I don't have uh, the, the, my name data. So thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please uh, subscribe to my channel and also like the videos. Hello friends, I'm Parois. Uh, in the previous video we have learned about uh, deleting data from MySQL database in Python programming language. Now in this video I want to show you that how you can drop your complete table. So for example I have this uh, this employee table 
and I want to drop this table uh, or in simple we can tell that uh, I want to remove that table for this uh, I'm going to copy some codes from the previous video so I want to this basic requirements of GB connection let me uh, copy this and paste it in here uh, after this let me create my uh, drop query so drop query and uh, I want to uh, drop a uh, table so if exists so if this table is exist exists I want to drop this so I want to drop the employee now in the try I'm going to execute the query so execute and you need to add your drop query in here and let me print something table uh, dropped successfully and then the accept print uh, unable unable to drop the table so simple code and let me run this table dropped successfully and if I refresh my uh, database uh, so now in the DB test I don't have any employee table so thank you guys if you have any question uh, suggestion please let me know and for the further videos subscribe to the channel and also like